Soldier Fitness. Yep. It's Rush March time. You guys ready? Yeah? Let's do it then. It's Rush March time. What's up guys? So, it's been a while. I don't know, I haven't posted a video in close to a year maybe? Shoot, I don't even know. I post on the blog but haven't done a video. Anyway, um, do another Ruck March video today. I'm going to give you some tips. I do this at least once a week, sometimes more. Um, partly because I am in the military and it's my job to stay physically fit and ready for anything. But also because it's a great fat burner and uh it's real good for building leg muscles and endurance so all right guys so we're about a mile in now um been walking at a pretty good pace so if you're on flat land what you want to do is walk just beyond what makes you comfortable so find that point of speed that you know you're going to breathe harder a little more work put in and uh make that your steady pace all right you can it'll increase over time obviously you'll take larger steps um or you can add weight and you might have to take smaller steps. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so do that for the flatland. I've been doing that for about a mile now. We got our first downhill coming up and it's starting to rain on us. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Um, all right, so for the downhills, what you wanna do, as soon as you get to a good downhill, you wanna lean forward just a little bit. I mean, keep the weight supported, you know, properly with your back, but lean your whole body forward and just I don't know, go with the momentum. Don't run down the hills because the boots you're wearing, all right, they're not made for that and you're probably going to twist the ankle or something. So it's more like a, a jog um, that you're going to do down the hill. So here in a second, I'm going to start doing it and uh, you'll see what I mean. But uh, <clears throat> you want to do this, it helps you get better speed. And I'm telling you, if you try to walk down the hills, you're going to slap your feet, you're going to get shin splints, all kinds of stuff. It's bad. Just let the weight take you down the hill. So, all right, we're about to hit it. You can see here it is. Not a big hill, but it is downhill, and every downhill I do this. So, all right. As you can see, it's not a run. We're just kind of lean forward a little bit, let the weight take us. It's more like if you run flatland, it's just a slow jog pace. So, anyway, I'll catch you in another minute. So, our next obstacle, obstacle uh, is going to be the uphills, obviously. We talked about the flat areas and the downhills. Um, I'm almost at the two mile mark, but I have to go up about a hundred meter long hill here. I know the GoPro doesn't really do justice for hills, but at one point it's probably about a 40 degree angle, 35. Pretty steep, but it's short. Um, so what you want to do on hills, and I'm hitting it right now so you'll see this. You're going to take, it's kind of like you're lunging, alright? You're going to take big steps still, and you're going to push off with the trailing foot. Does that make sense? So if you were to lunge down and you get back out of that lunge, you push off with the foot that's in the back, right? Or excuse me, it's in the front. So here you're gonna do the same thing. You watch my feet. Whew. Rough. And you're just gonna push off consistently. Lean forward and just don't slow down. I should speed up probably a little bit on the uphills just to get over with, but you'll feel the burn, I promise you. <sighs> get that heart rate up really high probably for a second and then before you know it you're done now this is followed by a slight, slight downhill so now i'm just gonna let the weight take me steeper ones will go faster obviously so all right see you in another couple miles 
Okay, so what's next? Um, it's about two and a half miles now, close to three probably. Uh, starting to sweat pretty good. My heart rate's up there. Obviously, it's staying up there, but you get kind of in a, a rhythm. It hurts a little bit at first, but it's like that second win you get if you're a runner, right? So, two things I want to talk about. Um, wherever you're going to be ruck marching at, uh, I would say to be safe, do it off main roads. But cases like here. Um, it's rainy today. I don't really want to get on the mud roads and get all dirty, so uh, this is one of my favorite routes to go on. It's a highway, but it's not too, I guess not too well-traveled, I should say. It just goes in between some small towns, so um, first thing you want to do is walk against the flow of traffic, all right? This way, you can see traffic coming. Um, if there's a car coming, you can get off the road a little bit, get out of the way. If you're on the other side, a car might come up behind you, not be paying attention, texting or something, and take you out. You know, you'll be able to see that coming dive out of the way hopefully or something if you're walking against traffic so walk walk against traffic and stay out of the middle of the road all right so next thing i'm going to talk about if you've been ruck marching a little bit or you're naturally strong you know fit person whatever it is um just walking might not be challenging i know i'm out of breath but i can do this for hours you know uh you just get in the zone and go so to challenge myself a little bit i pick um i pick a point here in Germany, I like to use these little white things that are on the side of the roads here. All the main roads, they have them every 50 to 100 meters. Uh, you can use trees, power lines, whatever it is that's a consistent distance. Um, and jog from one to the other, or jog for two, walk for two, whatever you like to do. Um, I think today I'm probably going to jog two, so about 100 meters, you know, close to a football field. And then I'm going to walk one or two. And uh, later on, on the way back, once I put in 10 plus miles or so, it might change to every one. So basically all you're going to do as soon as you see one, you just jog. Don't slow down when you get there, though. Get back. Uh, right away to that steady pace, that, that walk that makes you just a little bit uncomfortable. Alright, let's see, it's been about 35 minutes. Um, I'm almost at 4 miles, which is a really good pace, I think for me. I am right now going up about an eighth mile, possibly quarter mile long. Solid uphill path rough I'll tell you right now if you got to take a break take a break guys um, I might at the top of this I'm not going to during the hill you got to push through it but uh, I just want to turn this on just let you know you need to challenge yourself though all right if rock marching is too easy my last video I made people are like oh yeah that's easy I do 50 miles a day whatever for one you don't all right but if you do do some kind of Delta special forces crazy in shape ultra marathon person try doing 50 miles of hills a day see that shit happen dude this is rough I'll tell you that right now this hurts <sighs> hopefully you guys can hear me I'm right next to the Autobahn right now people driving crazy 150 miles an hour and stuff Whew. yeah anyway though if you're trying this out you try Rick Martin after you watch this video or you search this because you want to try it I encourage it but if the flats are too easy, go up hills, guys. Take a break at the top. It's okay. It's going to work you good. You're going to get that good exercise. You're building muscle. Burning fat like crazy. Boosting your metabolism. I promise you all these things. <sighs> Rug marching is great for health. Woo! Woo! Five miles and three quarters of a mile. Just under six. <sighs> this is the turnaround point, guys. I'm still walking because I don't want my, my feet to cramp up or my legs to cramp up. I gotta stay moving. I wanna see this graffiti in here. Of course it's in German, I don't know what the hell it says, all right? But what are those guys? Clean and clean? Are those really big feet or there's something else? I don't even want to know. But alright guys, it's halfway. I'm heading back. I'm not going to talk as much as I did on the way here. Um, just because I want to make some good time, get a good workout. 
want to be drenched in sweat. But uh, I will talk to you, about, you guys about a couple other things. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the pack. I can do it right now. Took that quarter mile hill that I walked up. Then I walked down another about a quarter mile on the other side. And I got to go back up it the other way. Up another quarter mile. Down another quarter mile. Once you get done with that, we'll talk about your pack. Made it down the hill. First up the hill, then down the hill. That was rough. Starting to feel it. Got hot spots in my uh, in my boots. Um, areas that the feet, you know, it's probably going to develop blisters or something. Hopefully not. We'll see. Um, all right. So the pack. You guys can see. I'm using my standard issue military rucksack. Um, however, I've altered it a little bit. There's two main chambers in the rucksack, an upper and a lower. Hopefully you can see it there. I have the lower separated, zipped off. All my weights and everything are in the upper side. Um, I'm not using all my gear like most of the time you do in the military. This is actual the dumbbells and a 45 pound weight plate from our weight set. Um, and then some clothing to keep it still. Uh, M4 magazines, my M9 magazines, stuff like that. Not loaded. But anyway, um, the main thing about the pack is you want to get something that is padded and rest most of the weight on your upper bo upper back, your upper body, like your shoulders, the traps, that kind of area. That's one of the reasons I have all the weight in the top there. And I try to get, you can see these straps, I try to get the rucksack up as high as possible, okay? Um, the military issued rucksacks also have this waist support padded, which is nice, um, stops it from moving around so much, but you don't want to put all the weight on there. You don't want to have the shoulder straps loose. Oh, I gotta change size of the rope and have all the weight um, down here because it's going to be on your lower back. You're constantly going to be bending over like this. You see soldiers ruck marching all the time. I see them. I wish their NCOs would correct them, but when they're hunched over like this and they're, they're hurting, it's because they got all their weight down the bottom of their rucksack and they feel like after a while they have to lean forward um, to make up for that. So keep the weight up top. Like you can see here, I'll stop for one second. Just from side standing up here, that weight is up near the top. See this? This is just supporting it so it doesn't move around, but all the weight is right here. And uh, I can stand up straight and walk all day long. I don't have to hunch over. It's not going to be bad for your back. Um, that's really it. Uh, I'm going to do some sprints. Just a couple. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, jogs between the road markers like I talked about. So, see you in a little bit when we're almost done. Alright guys. I'm just going to wrap up this video. Um, I'm less than an eighth mile away from my house now. I'm going to make it just shy of 12 miles. Oh, just under two hours. Pretty nice pace. Just kind of hanging out now. About to walk back onto a main road here. Cars coming and stuff. Alright, so post ruck march. Um, important things. Number one, drink water. Rehydrate yourself. I don't know if you can tell too much because uh, this is a moisture wicking shirt, but I'm drenched completely. Completely. I can see it in my boots. Um, sweat from the inside out. Uh, eat food. Post workout meal. Always important. I'll talk about that in other videos on this channel too, but uh, you gotta refuel your body. Um, I'm not gonna get into the science of it right now because I don't wanna talk forever, but uh, refuel your body, food, and stretching. Make sure you stretch your muscles. All right, you're gonna cramp up possibly. If you don't, um, your muscles, you know, they just need, basically they need to be stretched out and relaxed after a workout like this, all right? Um, if you rock march for 12 miles, it's rough on your body, no matter what, even for me. So. Um, proper stretching. That's it. Um, if you like the video, please hit like down below. Um, feel free to comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. And hope you guys have a good day. Peace.